Hey guys, so we're up to some late night foolishness here at the church slash theater. Rick has one of the original preheat fluorescent troffers taken apart and he's put a bulb in it with the original ballast and starter. Is that a, is that a bulb from the 60s too? That is one of the bulbs I recovered from the basement. That so do we know that bulb works? Yes, I tested it. Okay. Bulb works, starter, I don't know. Those leads over there are not touching, right? They're not touching anything, so if I cut power back on, it's not gonna hurt anything? Uh, they look fine to me. I hope not. I don't think so. They look okay from here. I don't think so. Okay, so he's gonna take this. Okay, so. Yeah, he's wanting to talk. If I need to cut it back off in a hurry, just yell. Okay. All right, so it is, I have, the, there's only, so based on the current condition of it, there's only one circuit that is wired and one set of sockets that is intact. There's one broken socket in the other one, the other one is wiring mess, but in theory, this one bulb should work if I. Eh, not seeing anything. Nah, nothing. And the bulb's definitely, I tested it already. Okay, turn it off. We'll revisit this. Turn on again. He is, he is. Leave it first. It's flickering. I really think that's just the, uh, it's possible that one of those these cut wires is not good or i mean that might have messed with the circuit i don't know no it's it's the fans just okay yeah i don't think i don't think it's any good okay well okay so i adjusted how i wired this a little bit i put um i went ahead and wired both bells up because again i'm not sure what's even Go for it. Yes, go. Yes, go ahead. Ah, rats. Could be a bad starter too, but. No, still nothing. Could be these ballasts could be bad. The starters could be bad. I know the bulb is good. Oh well, all right, well, it was fun trying. It's filming. Okay. All right guys, so uh, we're actually um, doing another fan swap toward the back. Um, this is in the back of the sanctuary and I'm gonna attempt one more fluorescent startup of the old preheats. Um, this, is, this one's in amazing condition compared to the other ones. It actually had a bulb in it already. You ready? I am ready, go ahead. I think I heard a tick. Which to me might be the, the preheat starter, but. Yeah, sadly nothing that I can see. Yeah, shut it off. My name is Dan Spiffy Newman and I do not support this message. This is Rick continuing to try to find fluorescent troffers that work. That's the only one so far. Right? Only one so far. I think we've tried three. We didn't actually apply power to the first one because we could tell that it was beyond hope. The second one looked like it was hopeful, but this one he actually got working. And the thing that's kind of cool is you could actually put fluorescent bulbs in here and then put the fans in as well. Like the fan box sits below the fluorescent tubes. So theoretically, if he wanted to spend hours and hours and hours in here, he could get all the troffers working with the fans intact. I mean, I think it would be cool, but there's so many things that I would want to do first. Yeah. So here's the main reason why I am, now that I think about it, I'm against energizing all the troffers unless you go LED. No, I don't think they'll die. I mean, they might, but it's unlikely. How much current does, a, does one of those ballasts draw? If they were ball powered, 
Yeah, probably half an amp. Right now, the biggest load on the cloth wiring is the fans because the air conditioners are on newer wiring. Well, I take that back. Some of the PA and instrument. Well, the, okay, that PA is plugged into that outlet, which is newer wiring. I love the instruments are all plugged into newer wiring. The only thing that's plugged into the old wiring that's drawing current PA wise is the speakers, the monitors that are plugged into the stage. That's still old cloth wiring. But um, yeah, so we'd be. Though ballast, would it be fair to say those ballasts are about an amp a piece? You have some on the ground. What'd you say? So yeah, that's close to an amp a piece. So let's just let's just say an amp a piece. And there's two ballasts for a troffer, and we got 13 of them. So granted, I mean, we're still talking about less than 30 amps, but that's again that's a that's a current draw that this wiring hasn't seen in 30 years. I, I, I my, the only way I would endorse it is if any ones where the like the, the fixture wasn't intact, use LED tubes and maybe keep a few of them preheat if you can make the color temperature close enough that you can't tell which is which once they're powered on. But I, I don't think I would, I don't think I'd energize 26, one, uh, you know, almost an amp ballasts in here. Not until we straighten out, because again, I don't know what the wiring looks like in the ceiling. It'd like it'd be one thing, like we know some of the we know some of the wiring is sketchy, like the like the the sconce wiring out here and the kitchen wiring and stuff like that. We know that's sketchy. We know some of it's less sketchy, like the air conditioner outlets. That's all done in conduit and, but I have no idea what's in the ceiling, and the breakers don't make that any more confident. McGee would love it though. He misses these troffers, which is, uh, I don't. Less light. Because that's, yeah, that's uh, how many fluorescent, those are 40 waters. So you're talking about 160 watts per fixture. I mean, granted, fluorescent watts are more lumens than incandescent watts, but still, they were putting 100 watt bulbs in these. You're still talking about 300 watts versus 160. I still think the fans is probably more light, plus it's closer to the ground. I don't really know how many. I guess I could look, I could look up lumens. Let me put the phone down. I should have brought a phone stand. Are you still, are you still yeah, because now you actually got. Like fluorescent light working, we're gonna document that. Okay, 40 watt fluorescent tube is about 2300 lumens, so that's gonna be. So, four of them, assuming that the troffer doesn't degrade the lumens any, which it would, because those are recessed. So, we're talking about about 9,000 lumens. So it it is a it is a significant Turn it off, turn it off. No. Yeah. Almost there. Two more. I'm determined to get one fully illuminated and then I want you to throw the switch so I can see it start and then that'll be But well you'd be disappointed in this one because that first one didn't blink it on, it came on right away. Or what? No, it just came out right away. There was no preheat blink. Second one took a while. 
The one that you just put in, the one that's closest to the doors, came on r immediately. What have we got ourselves into? So, when we started taking this fan down, I said, Rick, I, I do not want you to change your mind based on this question. Are you going to look inside the troffer? And he said, no, too late, I'm too tired, no troffers. Lo and behold. Hey, Rick, why do you have a breaker off right now? Oh, I obviously didn't turn off the right one. No. It's the two metal ones. No. 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 Yes. There are a lot of things in this building not to trust, and a lot of them are electrical. So I think you're correct. Let me ask you a question. No, we don't have any uh, plastic grid. I was like, well, I was gonna be like, look, if you get all four working, are you gonna put the fan up with the bulbs in there? The asymmetry of it would bother me. Then we'd have to do this one. But then we could put the little dim bulbs in there. We wouldn't need. Yeah, extra light. We'd have, to, we'd have to do warm white tubes in there. No, we wouldn't. Why would we have to do warm white tubes? What kind of bulb do you say like that? I guess you'd be cool white. Cool. Cool white is what you gotta do in the vintage fixtures. The cool white. I mean, theoretically, we could go and buy some trough or plastic and cut it. I don't think so either. I can't believe he found one and got it working. I don't, I should do a better job picking my friends. The only reason I'm not like discouraging you from doing this is how happy it would make McGee. Oh, see this Just to have the fluorescent lights working again. Yeah, he would be very happy. He loves these fluorescent lights and I don't know why. He thinks they're brighter. He's gonna touch it while it's live, watch. Please notice, Rick touching it while it's live. It's about to happen right now.
he did the stupid thing that I do, which is touching something to see if it's electrified. Which, if it is, then you find out the worst possible way. Here's what I want you to do. Not right this second. This is your this is your homework assignment. Research what would be the easiest kind of drop-in LED tubes that we can put in these. And you can have as many uh, ad light ballasts as your heart's desire. And we don't have to worry about replacing sockets and starters. Something we could literally just put in there without even using the sockets necessarily. Just mount them in place and wire them up. Because that wouldn't be, the, I mean, taking the fans down would be the, the hardest part of that. And, and cutting the plastic, you know, is a little bit of a pain, but you can use the existing plastic as an outline. Is that warm white? Oh, I know, I know that. I know Phillips Deluxe. Okay, where's that last starter? Oh my God. This is the only one we're gonna probably do this to. They haven't worked yet, so we're gonna perform. So it's You mean today or over or forever? Depends on what we end up doing, but at least I mean. I, I find it here. Here, I find it hard to believe that you're not gonna come back another day and do all of them. Okay, here's, realistically, here's what I probably do. I would keep like two, maybe four of them in preheat fluorescent in good working order and then I'll do it LED and the rest of them. Just so we have some in there, we have the cool startup, but like, I, yeah, I agree with the current, I think would be a little too much for this one. I mean, on the other hand, it's the same wiring that they were on 30 years ago and the fans don't add much to it. No. It's just a matter of how it how another thing we could do and it would take away from the coolness, but we could just do two bulb You hate that camera. Okay, I'm a bone. I gotta pick better friends. That's not the right one if you're trying to turn it off. That's not. What are you doing? There you go. Murder face, murder face, murder face. How neatly could you tuck the wires up in there so that if you took the cover off and put the fan back up, it wouldn't look like a rat's nest? Or metal. He will be sad that he missed this. Oh well, you know. <laughs> Are you using the cool white from the vintage fixtures? Oh. I wonder what Stuart's up to. He's messaging. 
Oh, he's still in Florida. Florida. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna throw something out there that I'm gonna regret. There's a part of me that wants to just put the fan up, remove the cover, and then but we'd have to do the same here because I got a match. Uh, the first one has never flickered. The first close one close to the wall has never flickered. The other three didn't so much flicker, but they stagger on. Between the shades and the ladder, I can't tell. But if we put the fan back up and the light, it'll be brighter. How, you want, okay. The only problem with that is it means you gotta take that cover out. And then if you don't like it, you gotta put the cover back in. Which you hate. I say, here's what we do. Cut the power, see how neat you can get the wires. If you can get the wires presentable looking where the fact where no ordinary person would look up there and see them, then I say we try putting the fan on it. And then if that doesn't look too shabby, then I say we try the same thing over here and I will just never sleep again in my life. is I really I hate fluorescent lights in church I, I think it's fine leave it alone don't don't mess with something if it's working. The irony of this is that I legitimately hate churches with fluorescent lights in their sanctuary. I think in general, yes, but this this I mean there's so many churches that just have troppers. Yeah, that is I mean, these are troppers. What's he gonna say if he comes back and they're, they're all like, we have this done. We have yeah, what? We have the all. We have the back two lights working. I don't think he cares. No, he doesn't. He's gonna Metal Pete would love it. Yeah, that for sure. His metalness would be over the moon, but Murder Face is not Mr. Preheat. Murder face only cares about murder. And fans, but mostly murder. Sorry for the jerky video. I'm just trying to figure out how to plug in the phone, prop the phone, and still show some of Rick being ugly. Hold on, because I can't really see what the... Trying to figure out where I can set this. And this is the one time I didn't bring a camera stand. I'm like, I'm not gonna need that. Didn't need it last time. It's for the fan. Yeah, let me. I don't know how I can prop this. Maybe right here. It's not too bad. Yeah, that looks late. I mean, again, this 
The only downside to it is when they ever need to change the tube, you gotta take the man down. Yeah, well, I mean, who else is gonna be changing them besides the man? I mean, who changed them before? Well, somebody, but I mean, then again, I don't think they were, if one was out, they weren't going up there to change it. They could wait until they were all out. Let's just see how hard. Right here. God. I've created a monster. It's a small, bald monster. <laughs> oh, Metal Pete's going to wish he was here for this. Have you ever in a million years ever seen a ceiling fan mounted to a like? Yes. Really? Okay. Yeah. But it was usually like one of those things where like like a whole like a whole ceiling was lit and the fan was mounted under the light that way. Oh, like those luminous ceilings? Yeah. Oh, okay. That. And then Luma Domes also. I don't think I've ever seen a fan mounted to a troffer. Reno. He's so proud of himself. What? That's yeah, off. Why do you always forget? Because I, I think about it, I always think about it right before I start messing with it. Like, so here's the, uh, here's the thing to remember. All the troffers we've looked at today are on the same circuit. So you look up front and the two JC pennies are off, so is the back tropper. Only one that's gonna be different is if we do this one, which we're almost gonna to have to do at this point. Is this light helping you or should I turn it off? Uh, it helps a little. I don't know if it's, it's worth like closing it up because you're making tired of it. It's not really tiring me, but I could be doing other things. Yeah, it's not that good. I murder face better get back here quickly. God. I have a feeling that with or without my involvement, I give it two months before all 13 are powered up. Well, I gotta see how it looks first, like light it with the fan. That's gonna be something. This is where you sing murder. Murder face, murder face, murder face. Metal face, metal face, metal face. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? Did you really think this wasn't? Wasn't what? Wasn't going to happen. <laughs> I think this is delirium. Like, I think yeah. if you'd gotten a night's sleep. I would be like this. You, yeah, you wouldn't be doing this. We got all the stand sconces done. They need some TLC, but they're done. We got the JC panties done, and they need new bulbs and, and well, not glass. JC panties are good on glass. They just need bulbs, but they're done. Got the design house lights done. They need bulbs and matching glass wouldn't hurt. Well, so we need center glass. The side glass, I think, is fine. I actually really like the side glass on the stage left fan. Murder 
face, murder face, do 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 do. I guess that's kind of a vaguely Spider-Man based. Murder face, murder face. That's not gonna like put the screw's not gonna go into the tube, is it? No, not at all. Okay. Because the screw is the screw isn't that big. In fact, it doesn't. It only goes to the inner part of the track. No, the tubes are fine. Okay, dokey. I think that because doing the tiles is gonna take a little time. But, I mean, we got to do the tiles now if we're going to focus people's attention on this ceiling back here with extra light. I don't think the tiles are big, though. Okay. I think I'm just going to go home tonight and pick out my clothes and shower and then just be done for the night. I don't think I'm going to try to, like, get back up.
Yeah, they're with the Masonic something or other. What'd you say? I'm glad we didn't interrupt anything. I didn't expect anything. No, nobody said anything to us. Third Saturdays. And I'm glad that you did that footprint vent fan in there because they needed a space. That's true, yeah. It's probably good we have to... Did they give us the time frame on when they're going to be in there? No, they don't, it depends on how many people show up. What'd you say? They might not be able to film that one. Yeah, well, I mean, I'll... I know they're not going to... I mean, they're not going to be here for hours. So... That's funny though, yeah, I did call him murder face. Nope. Yeah. He said he wanted to get our number to do some repairs around his house. David? Yeah. Hey, well, you make a little extra money, or maybe they got, you never know who's got old fans. I'm trying to remember if there's any fans. I don't know if they even still have it. The McGee's used to own, like, an apartment complex somewhere not far from here. And it was just, like, the family apartment building. Like, like they didn't rent it out. Like, one person lived in the upstairs, one person lived in the downstairs. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole family just lived in the one building. What are you wrestling with? Now when the door comes in, I won't know if it's them or if it's Andrew. Actually, yeah. I have a group chat for the GMS band that's me, 
Eric, Justin, Scales, Lil Joey, and then Danielle, who you haven't met because she moved back to North Carolina, but we keep her in the group chat because we like her. She was our bass player for a couple years. Um, and uh, Joey apparently is at Madison's Juneteenth Festival. And uh, last year, Scales did sound for Madison's Juneteenth. And I worked it for him, and he, it was great. And this year, um, it is not Scales in any stretch of the imagination. And Joey is in the group chat complaining about how bad the not Scales is, which is fair. What'd you say? What's the issue? Okay, I'll leave you alone. It's not the tubes. No, just, well, yeah. Just because every time I hear a sound, I don't know if it's the Mason or whatever it is. Let's make sure, cap off those wires, let's make sure everything still works before you hang the band. Or even just make sure they're not touching anything, but capped off is better because if you want to reach up in there and fiddle with something, you don't want it. Okay. Would you rather hang the fan first? What'd you say? Oh, okay. I'm going to put two wires up and then get the power again. Okay.
Other thing you gotta keep in mind is that fan's not ready to hang. I don't know what all parts you want to use, and I'm, I know you're very particular about your SMCs. So. Oh, there's a whole fan. No, is that that one? No. So this this fan. That one's ready to go. Just needs the rod. Oh. Okay. Well, that is my. That, oh, actually, we could use the correct SMC canopy behind right? Yes. Which I'll go grab. Let's get the rod off. I see why you're laughing at the crew. Look at the crew. Oh, actually, I know where they are. I can go. I can get I have the correct ball for it too, but I'll put this because it can't be. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to stop this video.